Good day, good day. How the heck are you? Welcome to Roverland. Yeah, this is the channel that's anything and everything Land Rover. I'm your friend Dan O. Thank you for joining me today. We got something for you today. I checked the uh, tracking number here and we have got a beauty today. Uh, the hint is in the background, but I'm not going to tell you which one it is. This one comes from Rochester MN. Yeah, just the neighbors to the west. That's right. Uh, I am from Wisconsin. So just west of us is a great, big, glorious state. MN Minnesota. That's right. They don't have regular sodas there. They only have mini sodas. Oh, that's an old Wisconsin joke. But anyway, <laughs> let's get right to it. What do we got going on here today? Holy cow, that's packed right in there. All right. Holy newspaper. What newspaper was this anyway? Oh, well, there's a big sale. Wowzer. Wow. Don't oh, get rid of that. <laughs> All right. Do you get it? Do you get a glimpse? Do you see what it is yet? Oh my goodness, this is taped like it was in Fort Knox. Whoo! Whoo! Man, oh man. They're just going to tear up this stuff here, man. This is crazy. All right, but bam, there it is. Huh? Check that out. Yep, you guessed it. Do you know what it is? Do you want to know what it is? <laughs> Do you need to know what it is? Got a little goober on the top there. Must have been a uh, sticker on there, price sticker on there. Yes. You ready? Oh, I think it goes the other way. Let's see. I think it goes this way. But bam Oh, I got it right. Yes, this is the Ertl Dryersville, Iowa, was, uh, USA. Made in Korea, the 1598 8 Big D. That's right. This is the uh, Land Rover Defender 110. Yes, long wheelbase. This is the police version. Uh, picked this up for about $5. Now, Ertl did go back to the... Uh, oh, man. Yeah, the Stone Ages with this one and put a office envelope. But you do get three of them. Yeah. Uh office envelope sticker on there yeah went back matchbox style yeah <laughs> although i do gotta tell you these are uh glossy versus matchbox they were just uh virtually uh an envelope sticker no <laughs> that's why i call that these are at least glossy i'm trying to flash you the uh gloss there so a uh, little bit but uh yeah it didn't they don't really fit all that well. You can see that that catches there. Yeah. Wowzer, wowzer, wowzer. Yeah, so this here, Ertl, uh, 1983, 1989, something like that. Now, there is a story. I haven't, uh, I did a, a review of my collection a long time ago. And uh, in that story, I bought these uh, like this. They were packaged like this, and they were in a case. And I think there was uh, originally a brown brown box case. They were like in a shipping case. I think there was like 25 of them in there. I bought it uh, open, busted open, selling. Uh, dealers, uh, toy dealer was selling them, and they came like this. I kind of kept one all wrapped up like that. Um, and then I, I took out and bought and sold a couple of them. I took out all these are from that case. Uh, interestingly enough, uh, some of the plastic has uh, gone yellow on me. It's kind of kind of interesting, but uh, they're all they all have the one five nine or eight D on them. And uh, I thought maybe this new one might be a little bit different code, but they're not. So anyway, so this is uh, pretty much all I have gotten. Now, these do come out on the card as well. Um, Earl did a series of this 164 scale. And uh, yeah, they just, um, 
They have like a farm edition, which uh, doesn't have the bubble on top. It's the plastic top, which by the way, that plastic top does come off. Yeah, so you kind of have a pickup version if you'd like. Uh, just kind of a simple, you know, uh, deal there. This one, like I say, these have kind of yellowed on me. Not really sure why, but uh, they're not in direct sunlight and they're not in a smoking uh, atmosphere. But anyway, they do a farm edition, um, solid colors. I think green and brown is the farm edition. They do a Coast Guard, which is blue uh, with the top, and I think that's got double bubbles on top. Uh, then the AA Service, the uh, yellow, they do uh, that, and then they do a uh, Royal Marines, which is Army Green. I, th I think that's about it, but these things are pretty heftily made. These are made for toys to be played with. Yeah, they're very hard, hard heavy-duty uh, axle in there. The wheels are really, uh, they're, they're rubber wheels. Um, plastic base, no real details. They do have the offset uh, differentials there, but uh, the bumper kind of honking sticks right out there. And the uh, grill, it doesn't, uh, it's not recessed. That is right out there, that's for sure. But uh, really, really kind of cool, I tell you. Uh, the big, big trailer, uh, Ertl does do a lot of uh, uh, farm stuff, so you can get a wagon or whatever with that. Now, that, I'm not really sure where that white plastic comes in at because uh, the interior is black. The, the uh, front grill in that is part of the base, but then they just add that white piece in. I bet you it connects to the uh, rear rivet there. And it is a big honking piece there. Uh, yeah, they got these silver tabs that stick out there. That's kind of interesting. But uh, really nice is that they have uh, three, three decals on it. That's pretty cool. Um, but uh, yeah, just plain. I've got uh, one, two, three, four of them. And uh, I've never, I don't think I've ever drilled any of these apart and uh, done any customizing with them. I, I know I have uh, taken the top off, you know, but, uh, oh, cheese balls. Uh, didn't lose it, didn't lose it. But really haven't done uh, much else with them. Um, yeah, uh, they, I think they'd be pretty easy to, uh, to mess with. So you can peel these tires right off. And uh, then you could paint the rims there any kind of color you wanted and then just put that tire right back on that would be kind of cool can make your own kind of custom there but uh you know they're not big big rollers with the uh tires and those big axles you know they're not really big rollers but they do roll but mainly a tire now it just has the front windshield in it I'm trying to the time you want a glare you can't get one it does have a front windshield in it but everything else is uh, clear. The side, the back, of course. Now this one wouldn't be that hard to uh, put windows in. You know, you could just take this off and uh, cut you a uh, plastic bubble, plastic, uh, the blister pack from your uh, Hot Wheels or uh, Matchbox and just cut those to fit and just super glue them in. So could do that very, very easily. These, um, like I say, these stickers could come off really easily. Uh, kind of just like this uh, price sticker is coming off <laughs> pretty easily there. <laughs> now I got it stuck in my nail. Oh boy. All right, so there you go. Do you have any of these? Uh, show me yours. Yeah, uh, make sure you give me a thumbs up for this video first. Subscribe, uh, share, and uh, yeah, come on over to Facebook and show me yours. That's right. We're going to get a close-up here. And uh, do you got any different flavors and varieties? Yeah, colors. Uh, I'd like to see them. Come over to Instagram. Show me there. Uh, Roverland channel. And Facebook, Roverland and let me see what you've got. So there we go, what we had today. Little look at the addition to my uh, collection. All right, 
This is your friend Dan. Oh, as always, slow traffic, keep right, and have a great rover day.